everyone, I wanted to do a video on how to recover dead uh, rechargeable batteries. So sometimes if you have one of these smart chargers, you can see each battery is being charged individually here. Um, <clears throat> one of these batteries, uh, these three were actually in a, uh, a flashlight and it went completely dead because it was left on. And so when you put it in here, see it won't charge, okay? So it's definitely locked in there. I've tried different slots, it just won't charge. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to... Uh, revive it using a known good battery of the same size and voltage. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're back. Uh, let's see about how we're going to do this. So what we do is we take the, the known good battery here in my left hand um, and we just um, we put the, the negative, which is the flat part, onto this wire and then uh, we hold on the positive to another wire. Okay, to have a little bit of dexterity there and then you grab the known bad battery you do the same thing you touch uh, you hold the top positive on and then at, while you're holding it on all you do is you touch it here and count to like three one two three that's it so what happens is is the charge from this good battery has then moved over to this uh, bad battery and what we're going to do from there is we'll pop this guy in the charger, and the charger should recognize it and start charging it. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're back at the charger. Here's our uh, our known bad battery. We're just going to pop it back in there. And boom, there you go. The charger starts recognizing it, and it starts charging. Now, the good battery, even in those couple seconds, when I said only do it for three seconds, and I probably didn't do it for a full three seconds, is that this battery is going to discharge. You don't want the same thing happening essentially right to this battery so we're just going to pop him in there and he's recognized too so now I have I basically I did these two earlier before the video and I've recovered three batteries uh, I did these two initially with this one and then this last one as you saw in the video uh, with this one over here so and as you can see you know uh, this is pretty low has pretty low charge but these pick up pretty quickly this one's actually the dead battery is actually picking up quickly more quickly than uh, than the one we use to uh, recover it. So yeah, so that's how you do it. Uh, if you want any information on any of the products I use in this video, this charger, these batteries, or these end-loop batteries, uh, which are great, um, take a look in the, in the description below. There'll be links there, and thanks for watching.